Hello everyone, this is single round robin in three teams or three number of entries. In single round robin, we have the formula G equals N times N minus 1 divided by 2. So we replace 3 in N and the other one 3. So that is the number of entries and then 3 minus 1 equals 2 and we multiply 3 to 2 so we have 6 and 6 divided by 2 we have 3 games meaning in 3 teams or 3 number of entries in single round robin we have three games and now let's proceed to round one remember that when you are writing number of teams or number of entries it must be written in two vertical columns and the good thing is we will start in add numbers like three 1, 2, so this is the first column, and the other one, 3. So, it must be two vertical columns, 1 and 2, in counterclockwise. So that will start in the left side, 1, downward, 2, and then going to the second uh, column, the three. So this is the round one. So this will happen in all odd numbers like three, five, seven, and so on and so forth. So to make this even, one will be the by in round one so you will notice that in round one we only have one game two versus three and one will be the buy for this round since we finish the round one and we only have three games it is expected that we can only create up to round 3. Now let's proceed to round 2. So number 1 will remain in the position and all the other number of teams or entries will rotate counter clockwise so that buy will be placed here and two will be placed here and three will be placed up here so this will be the round two one versus three now let's proceed to round 3. So 1 will remain in position and then 3 will be placed here. By will be placed here and 2 will be placed up here. So that is for round 3. So since we are already in the round 3, let's count how many number of games do we have. 1, 2, 3. So since we have 3 games, meaning we are finished until round 3. Now, 
Don't forget to break the tie. In case of tie, So in case of tie, win over the other shall apply. In case of triple tie, cushion. Because in round robin, there is always a possibility to have a uh, tie in the tournament. So in round robin, it is good to have a game schedule so that it will be easy for the crowd or participants to follow the uh, tournament. So since we have three games, in round one, we have two versus three. So we only have one game in round one so that two versus three in round two we only have one game again one versus three so this will be game two one one versus three and in round three we have one versus two so this will be game three one versus two so this is the proper pairing and the game schedule 